uncomfortable with the modern aspect of your career? Getting more comfortable as it uh, as it goes around. Like I said, this is only my fourth photo shoot. Um, Are you an extrovert by nature? Um, I, I, I definitely, uh, I'm an actor. I was in the uh, drama club at my college and I've participated in quite a few plays and productions, but uh, I've never actually seen myself on film until this TV show. So in a sense, yes, I would say I'm an extrovert, but I'm also, I think, a little bit more comfortable being behind the camera with certain things, just like, sort of like, have the tattoos being the tattoos and not me necessarily, but I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of. I'm okay with being on camera too. Can we get the T-shirt? What's the significance of? of your, or your appreciation of your fandom of Star Wars. <laughs> I was actually raised Christian, and um, uh, Star Wars was the first kind of like venture outside of like the sheltered box. And um, I actually got my got this with box tops. Back when they were re-releasing Star Wars, you could uh, buy Kellogg's and cut out the box tops and send away for a VHS. And that this was the first secular movie that I actually saw. And um, I just the the message, you know, like the message really hit home to me because with Luke, he was sheltered and he um, he he was in this backwater planet of Tatooine. He has no idea of where his life was going. He just really wanted to get out there and do something, and he didn't know what he was meant for. And getting caught up in this huge story with this drama and finding out that he's a significant player but only as much as he puts into it kind of ties back into my own story too where if you try really hard and you continue to do the right thing and make the right decisions and even if you get your hand cut off <laughs> even if like really awful things happen to you if you pick yourself back up and keep trying and keep pushing forward then you're only going to go up your only great things will happen to you what do you think of the um episodes one two and three Episodes 1, 2, and 3 were okay. There's not as good as A New Hope to Return of the Jedi. Um, there's a lot of characterization that I think fell a bit flat. Um, it was, I think, more rushed for the special effects and the actual story. But uh, it's still part of the Star Wars universe, and I, I have watched them all.